Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Far Away. Today I have a 2015 Dodge Challenger with some uh, front end damage. So um, in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare the new panels for, for paint. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the um, uh, bumper cover. Alright, so uh, let's go. Alright guys. Here it is. Uh, we're gonna start scuffing it up, and we're gonna be using a red Scotch Brite. All right. All you need to do is just scuff it up. Make sure that everything's uh, scratched, everything's uh, nice and sanded, so that uh, the next process is ready to go. Okay guys, everything has been scuffed down. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get myself some wax and grease remover and start cleaning all the residue uh, so that I can prepare it for paint. Uh, I still need to add the adhesion promoter and the sealer. So let me clean it with the wax and grease remover and go from there. All right guys, after cleaning it with the wax and grease remover, now what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be adding some adhesion promoter. Uh, there's no way for you to paint a bumper cover or anything that's plastic or chrome or anything else without an adhesion promoter. It's not going to stick. So I need to add a couple of coats of this. I'm going to be adding one coat, leaving it for about five minutes. Then I'm going to be adding a second coat, leaving it for another five minutes. And then I'll be adding the final coat. Uh, so it'll be three coats of adhesion promoter. And then, uh, I'm gonna leave it for about 10 minutes, then I can start uh, adding the sealer. All right, let me start doing that. All right, I finished adding the three coats of the adhesion promoter, uh, waiting five minutes in between coats. So now what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna wait another 10 minutes, then I'm gonna start adding the first coat. Well, actually, I'm just gonna be adding a coat of sealer. It's gonna be a white sealer, and uh, that way I'm painting, a, this is gonna be white, so I need the white sealer to cover first for me not to waste that much paint. So. Uh, the sealers come in every single different color, so if we, you guys need to be adding sealer, get the nearest color, the nearest color sealer to the paint that you're going to paint. Alright, that's going to be a lot easier, that's going to waste a lot uh, less paint, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so let me let it dry for about 10 minutes, then I'll start shooting the first uh, coat of sealer. Alright guys, also... Um, in regarding to the sealer, uh, I've had several questions. Uh, when do I add sealer? When do I add primer? Uh, I'm gonna leave a link below, guys. I have a video explaining all that as to regarding the primer, regarding the sealer and all that. When you need to add it, when you don't need to add it and all that. So hit the link below. There's a video there uh, that explains all that. All right, guys.
Okay, this is after three coats of base. One coat of sealer and three coats of base. Uh, first I added the sealer at 29 PSI and uh, I waited 10 minutes before applying the first coat of base. After applying the first coat of base, I waited 15 minutes in between coats. Okay, so I added three coats. So it's 15 minutes in between coats, also at 29 PSI. And uh, that's it. All I uh, have next to do is start adding the clear. Okay, so let me mix it up. Again, I'm gonna be using this clear, the Tamco, the 2105. Um, I really like that this clear guys you already saw how that truck came out so uh, I'm gonna be continuing to use this kind this clear the Tamco clear so um, let me mix it up and uh, let me show you how to mix it all right guys in order to mix the clear this clear right here you can see it's mixed two to one to ten percent reducer the reducer you can add it if you want I'm not gonna add it in this one but um, it's two to one so you go here to your cup the cup has measurements all around so you look for the two and one mix, ra mixing ratio right here is the two and the one that's the two lines that I'm gonna be using alright so let me mix it so you can see I'm gonna be adding the clear first you always add either the clear the paint first then you add your hardener, reducer, whatever. But first is gonna be the, the, the product that's gonna be spraying. All right, let me mix it. All right, guys. You how I you saw how I poured it. So I went to the number two. I went to the highest number that's here, which is five. So I'm gonna fill fill up the clear all the way to the five. Then I'm gonna go to the one, which is the one percent, the one part of a hardener. So I went to the one, and I'm gonna go all the way to the five, which uh, is stating that it's one part of hardener. And that's it. That's the way you mix it, and then just start stirring it up and uh, put in the cup and start shooting. All right guys, um, a couple of people are asking me how I adjust my gun. Um, I already have it tuned in on this, on this gun. Uh, if you have one of these guns, let me show you the way I do it. On the, on the trigger, I leave it all open. It's all the way open. I pull the trigger then I turn the, the trigger knob all the way till it, till it hits, then I'll stop. That's the way I have it. I have it completely open. Now, on the fluid, the fluid, what I do, I open it up. I open it up all the way till it doesn't want anymore. Then I close it up one turn and a half. And that's the way, that's the best setting that I've found for this gun for this particular gun so that's the way I have mine now on the air pressure the air pressure I usually connect my holes then I, I press the air not completely I don't press the trick I don't pull the trigger completely just where the air is coming out and then I just find my, my uh, PSI which usually on the gun I always put it at 29 here at the at the regulator so that's the way this. That's the way I set this gun up. There's different settings for different guns, but this is the best setting for this type of gun, and uh, it's never failed me. So if you have one of these type of guns, use that setting. You'll have finishes like I do. All right.
All right, and this is it. This is how you prepare new uh, panels, new bumper covers, so it, they can get painted. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm trying to throw as much uh, information as possible. So if I'm missing something of information, well, let me know on the link on the descriptions below and uh, I'll make sure I'll uh, start adding it. But uh, all in all, it's, it's done. Um, this bumper cover is ready. So now I need the hood of that charger. All right, guys. <clears throat> so um, this is it. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, guys, share the video. Hit the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And uh, also, guys, let's, uh, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Let's try to reach that 30,000 subscriber mark and, uh, and go from there. You're going to learn a lot. And uh, remember, I still have a candy paint job that's coming up. I also have that guitar coming up. And I have several other little projects coming up. So there's more videos to come, guys. Thank you, guys. On the link below, I'm going to leave uh, some merchandise. If you'd like to purchase some of my merchandise, uh, I'll be more than happy to ship it out to you. And also, guys, hit the link below. Help me out if you can. And if you do, I'll make sure to add your name on the next video. All right, guys? Guys, thank you. Have a great week. And God bless.